afternoon and all. Here's a fun circuit. Right here is a photo transistor and underneath is a pull-up resistor. Here's two test points, ground and the collector of the photo transistor. It's all powered by a 9 volt battery and we're going to look at the IR output of this remote control. The test points are connected to the Fluke oscilloscope. I want to push button number one. Here's the waveform for the push button number one. There's number two. Button number three. Four. Five. And you can see the transmitted data is changing. Here's push button number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let me push nine again. It triggered off the screen. There's nine. And zero. Isn't that fascinating? Now if we look, we start out high, then we go low. There's zero. High. Zero, one, zero, zero. One zero one zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero and then we go high again. Shoo, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I'll put the circuit up at the end of the video and you can construct yours and then you can look at all kinds of infrared transmitted data. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay all. Have fun with that circuit and try to have fun with all your electronics. It's a good uh, it's a good line of work to get into if you can. We'll see you next time. Alright, to set your scope up to uh, capture and hold the waveform, go to menu trigger we're at free run for screen update down arrow on trigger the screen will update on trigger hit enter enter again now it says no trigger press the hold run button until you don't see a display now when you push a button, that data is captured on the screen. I've got channel A set to 5 volts per division and 5 milliseconds per division to display this data right here. Now for your remote control, you might have to set that amplitude and uh, time per division to a different setting. But it works good here with what we've got. All right, now for the fun part. The data sheet for the NTE3031, this photo transistor, states that current collector, that's the current from this point right here to ground through the collector base emitter junctions cannot exceed 40 milliamps. We cannot exceed 40 milliamps in this circuit right here. And I chose this resistor based upon that. And I'll show you how to calculate that real quick. We have a 9 volt DC battery. And I have placed a 470 ohm load resistor right here in the collector of this circuit right here. So between the 9 volt DC battery and the collector of that photo transistor, 
I have a 470 ohm resistor. To get a little bit sidetracked from what we're talking about right here, the Fluke oscilloscope was looking at this point right here, reference to that 9 volt DC battery ground. Now, according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, if this phototransistor is conducting in full saturation and I have zero volts from collector to emitter, I must have that 9 volts DC across this 470 ohm resistor. And we can determine the current through this circuit right here with Ohm's law. Voltage divided by resistance equals current. So, let's pull up our calculator. We're going to go 9 volts, that's our 9 volt DC battery, divided by 470 ohms equals 19.15 milliamps. We have 19.5 milliamps flowing through this circuit. And that is well below the current, the max current rating for this device right here of 40 milliamps. We're safe. We're not going to burn up that device. So how does this work? Well, if the phototransistor is turned off, there's no photons driving into the base of this phototransistor. It is turned off. And this point right here is pulled up to 9 volts DC through that 470 ohm resistor. We'll have a high voltage out here. When that transistor is turned on by photons driving into the base, those are the infrared emissions into the base of that phototransistor, it is conducting. And this point right here goes low. So we have a high up here and we have a low down here. And that's how the ones and zeros are viewed on the Fluke oscilloscope. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We can view the invisible with this tiny little circuit right here. All right, all. Isn't that, isn't that fascinating? I really love working on this simple stuff. <laughs> now, why did I build that circuit? Well, every now and then, in the shop, let me put this up here so y'all can see it. Every now and then, in the shop, I'll get measuring wheels from uh, leather working plants. And the measuring wheels will look They'll have IR transmitted into them, and they will look at the area of cowhide and calculate how much cowhide in area that they can use without waste. It's, uh, it's pretty neat how that works out. So I built this circuit to test those measuring wheels.